Hi everyone, I'm Izan. I'm a communications officer from WWF Malaysia Sarawak Conservation Program. On behalf of the YG Assist Partner, I would like to say a big thank you to every participant who supported us in the Poster Design Contest 2021. We have received a total of 304 entries this year. It has been a great pleasure to receive your entries. They were all amazing. Our success will not be possible without the support from all of you. And congratulations to all the winners. For those who didn't win this time, you can still try in our future events. Okay, let's have a short sharing session in this video. Do you know what animals are endangered in Sarawak? Their lives are threatened due to human activities such as hunting, illegal threat, logging, habitat loss, and unsustainable development or by climate change. They are Bornean orangutan, proboscis monkey, hornbills, especially hermited hornbill and rhinoceros hornbill, Sunda pangolin, cloud leopard, and sun bear. Do you know what animals found in Malaysia but not in the state of Sarawak? I understand why people get mixed up sometimes, but it will be good to know which animal these are. The elephants. They are only found in Sabah and West Malaysia. Tigers and tapirs are only found in West Malaysia and not in Sabah or Sarawak. Hornbills. There are eight species in Sarawak. However, in West Malaysia, there are 10 species. The two other species not found in Sarawak are the plant pouch hornbill and the great hornbill. Sadly, the Sumatra rhino has been declared resting in the whole of Malaysia, including Sarawak. Also, the banteng or wild cattle has not been recorded for a long time and is believed to be locally extinct in Sarawak. So, what can we do to protect the animals I mentioned earlier so that they won't face the same fact as the Sumatran rhino and banteng? First, learn about wildlife in Sarawak. Why are they important to our ecosystem? Only if we understand their ecology and the roles they play in the ecosystem, then we can appreciate their existence. Second, support eco-friendly products. Spend and consume sustainably. Third, do not leave litter behind when you go out hiking or camping and do not disturb any wildlife's habitat. Fourth, do not buy any wildlife product and meat. It is illegal to buy or own them in Sarawak. Report any illegal wildlife threat in Sarawak to Sarawak Forestry Corporation. Fifth, share what you know about Sarawak's wildlife with your friends and families. Six. Support a conservation organization, for example, WWF Malaysia, Wildlife Conservation Society Malaysia, and Malaysian Nature Society. Do you know that WWF Malaysia is present in Sarawak and we have an office in Kuching? Another thing I would like to highlight here is, as a Sarawakian, we should know our own step birth, the rhinoceros hornbill or Burung Kenyalang. A lot of participants drew the great hornbill in their artworks. Remember, great hornbills cannot be found in Sarawak and Sabah, they only exist in West Malaysia. How to differentiate rhinoceros hornbill from great hornbill? Rhinoceros hornbill's neck and wings are all black, whereas the great hornbills come with a whitish yellow neck and wings. The cast of the rhinoceros hornbill is protruding out and is a mixture of red, orange and yellow. The cast of the great hornbill is yellow. Hope you are clear with the difference now. Last thing I would like to highlight is plagiarism. Some entries somehow did not look completely original and unfortunately had some elements of plagiarism. Maybe you didn't realize that and may have done it unintentionally. It is important to remind ourselves about intellectual property and the legal implications. Do not be a copycat. Tracing, using a filter, changing the color, and adding a clip art or text are some examples of plagiarism. If you find a good example and want to use it, 
it's okay to get some ideas from it. Just make it as your inspiration or guide to create your own piece. If you need to use an image, remember to check if you are allowed to do it. If it is protected by copyright, make a legal request and use it only if it is approved. Last but not least, we hope that you had fun and learned something new about wildlife conservation. We also look forward to seeing you at the next event. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.